Hey guys, and welcome back to Code and Gameology. Today, we're going to be making the first part of the game, Battleship. So, first, let's see what this game is about. Your goal is to shoot down enemy ships, um, and you have to shoot down their health, but your player health, you have to keep that up. The cannonballs left means the amount you can shoot. You can click R to restock. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to fast forward. Yes, I win. Okay, let's see what happens if you die. So I'm not touching any controls here. Let's see how long it takes me to die. Okay, I died, and it just sends me back to the regular page. Okay, without any more ado, let's start. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is choose a backdrop. I'm going to choose the blue sky. But since we want it to be the ocean, let's just give it a darker shade. Now we want to add a boat sprite. Let's search up boat in the search box. Oh, who knew? A perfect sailboat. I'm going to shrink it a little to 30, since it's like a little bit too big. This looks perfect. Now we want it to be able to move. And I'm going to make it move on the command of a message. And the message is going to be called start. Since we haven't broadcast start though, it, nothing will happen when you click the when start. Now we need to code it so that it can move around. And for this, you're going to need um, this block in the sensing area and now it's gonna sense that if the keys are pressed it does this in the F. now since we're doing using WASD for this game all I have to do is go in and find the W letter the A letter the S letter and the D Now we put these in the slots, A, S, and D, and now remember, well if we wanted to move along the X and Y grid, we're going to have to remember this, if you change X by a positive number, it'll go right. Let's do 2 since it's a little bit too fast, and since D in WASD is right, we're going to put it here. Now to make it go left, it has to be a negative x number and let's put it in a and we want to go up if we go up you have to change it by a positive number let's put that in w and if you want it to go down change y by a negative number okay let's see yes you can move it by wisd now you want the boat to be able to face both sides. Let's set the rotation style to left right. You can also go to direction and press this button. And we're going to make a point in 90 degrees at the beginning. So if D is pressed, it will point in this direction. And if the other one, the A is pressed, we're going to point in negative 90. Now the boat can point around now. When according to the keys. Good. Now we need to add something else. Now we need to add so that the boat can shoot. In order to do this, we need to create a new sprite. Let's create a sprite that is a red circle. Pretty big circle. Decide the size. Uh, once you do this, you put it in the middle. 
can do black or red, whatever you want, any type of circle. Now you add the lines, add a perfect plus sign, and this is your target ring. It's a little bit too big for me. How about we make it 25? Ah, we made it 250. 25. Okay, that's actually small. How about 30? Decide a perfect size here. Now we're gonna say forever. He goes to the mouse button. And that's basically all that this does. It's just a little target ring you got here. You can move the bow, you can do whatever. You have a little target ring here that follows you around. Now we're gonna make it so you can actually shoot with this target ring. Because right now if you press space, nothing happens. Now we have to add the bomb itself. At the beginning, it's just a black circle with no outline. This is it. Really, that's it. People might wonder what it does. It's just this giant black circle. Then we have to add its exploding costume, which should be, let's see, red. And it should be like 50 wide. And yeah. Just draw a random shape. Connect it together. Perfect. Now we add the yellow to it. Or orange. And then we can copy it and paste it. Delete the outline. Add, turn it to yellow. Shrink it. We got an exploding sprite. Now we're gonna make it so it's usually this, not this, when it fires. So what so when the space key is pressed, it's gonna glide to our little targeting spark here. And it's gonna glide in like 0 0.2 seconds. It's gonna just go here. And we're gonna add an if else here. And we're gonna give it we're going to add more stuff to it later. Now it's going to glide to this. Right now what's going to happen is... It's just going to do this. It glides the target ring perfectly. But it's not coming out of the boat. It has to go to the boat first. So when it starts, it has to go to Sprite. To the sailboat. So now it fires from the boat. Okay, good. We got a boat. We got a firing. And we have to make sure it's in costume one at the time. So it's this little circle. And when it gets there, it will switch the costume to costume two, which is its blow up. And then we'll wait 0 0.2 seconds. And we'll hide. We have to remember to show. Else first. And now we have this we have this little bomb here that fires and explodes. But we have to add more. We have to say if what would happen. And now here's where things get complicated. We have to create a variable. And that variable is cannonballs left. And let's put it on the bottom left corner. So if cannonballs left is less than one, meaning it's zero, then we can't let it shoot. Then we're gonna say you can't shoot. No, just nothing will happen here. So basically, so basically now it won't shoot anymore. Why? Because it won't shoot anymore because there's nothing here. It has no cannonballs. And at the beginning, we want to give the player five cannonballs. Now, watch the cannonballs left variable closely. Nothing's happening. And that's because the cannonballs left is not going down. We have to say that if, the can if we fire a cannonball, we have to subtract it by one. And this means that we shoot it five times. Well, we can't shoot anymore. 
Now I have to add that restocking thing we have there. In order to add the restocking thing, let's go to backdrops. And we're gonna say, when the R button is pressed, the restock button, when it is pressed, then we are gonna repeat five times, change it by one, and wait 0 point, 0 0.1 sec. It means that it won't just instantly gives you give you five of those, which means it's still very fast. You can still get tons of cannonballs, and that makes it what's well, good. And now we got it ready. We can do target practice. You can go around everywhere, but still the boat isn't able to move. Why is that? It's because we never put the variable start on. And since it's foreverly going to mouse pointer, we want to make it make sure that this will only start when start is broadcast, and we have more work to do on that. So we need to write the words "battleship" and "prepare to fire." You can write anything. I'm going to write those words. You can write anything you want. This told the player to get ready, and that the game is about to start. Okay, we're gonna say when start is clicked, we're gonna repeat. We're gonna set our own size to 150, and we're gonna repeat five times to slowly subtract that. And since 150 is enormously big, it's just gonna act weird if you show it like this, but this is going to be what's happening. It says battleship prepare to fire, and we're going to wait 3 seconds, reverse the opposite, meaning it goes back to 150, and we're going to hide. And we have to show it at the beginning, and this is what it is. And we have to make it broadcast start, so the boat can then move. And when the boat receives start, it has to go to zero, 0, which is the center of the screen. And here is what happens. And this is our game. Um, thank you for watching, and please like, share, and subscribe. Also, stay tuned for part 2. Bye!